Hi Crafty Cuties, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you a very quick process for how I adhere fabric to the inside of my book. Now this is going to be the same idea if I was um, adhering the fabric to the outside of the book. However, my fabric would be just a little bit bigger so that I could fold over the edges. So hopefully you can kind of imagine that if you were wanting to cover the front of a book. Um, I am going to just hop right in. So this was requested. Someone asked if I could show them how I did it and it's easy, but I'm going to show you guys anyways. So right here I have just an old book. This is an old Reader's Digest and I had already gutted the pages, which I do have a video showing you how I do that. Um, I started this because I wasn't planning to film and then I realized I should be filming it. So I did one step without you guys, but I'll just explain here. So I took some, um, oh, what, cheesecloth and I just ripped a scrap. You can see it's not perfect. I'm not worried about that. The main thing I wanted to do is cover the spine and then a little bit to each side. Um, I find that this is just really flexible, but it also gives a little bit of flexibility, um, whereas paper can crack and it can sometimes be a little too tight to where your books won't open all the way. Not always, but at least in my experience. So I just cut this piece out and I use my Tombow Mono Liquid Glue. Just spread it all over the area and then put my cheesecloth down. I like this because it kind of gives the look of an old book um, here up at the top. I am going to trim some of this, but I just like it on the spine mostly. I like how it looks. So that's just, you don't have to do that. There is something called Tyvek. It's um, a material that you can actually get from shipping bags. Um, they are like the, I forget which type of shipping bags, but it says Tyvek. On it. I'll try to put a link below because you can also buy um, that type of fabric online and it's it's like basically a flexible paper material. There are several different materials that you can use for this part um, and you probably don't have to have this part. I just do because I like to know that there is extra durability in the books that I am making especially if I am just altering a book cover like I am here. I want this to be extra um, durable since it is an older book. All right, now we can hop right in. So I already went ahead and I cut a piece of muslin and I just cut it to fit the inside. I did realize as I was, as I was cutting, I should have made it just a little bit longer because when the book is going to be closed, it does kind of pull on the fabric a bit, um, but that's okay. Actually, I don't mind having the sides showing, but something to keep in mind. So I like to start with the center here and I just take my glue and spread it all over right here. And I've just been using my finger here. This is, I've tried Mod Podge. I don't like how Mod Podge works for this. I've tried the tacky glue. Um, I also don't, I don't know, I don't like it for some reason. I feel like this glue is just, it works for everything for me. So just line that up. And I'm not too worried about this being perfect. I never am with my books, but, um, you know, just try to get it kind of lined up pretty good here. And you do have a little bit of give time with this glue, but, uh, once it's dry, you're not really going to be able to move anything around. So just take your time to make sure that you are really pressing in the indents here so that everything can be as flat as possible. And I would not worry if you have a little bit of uh, like cinching of the fabric because that's sometimes just going to happen. Sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. I haven't found a for sure way to make it perfect every time. So now I'm just going to work myself out to the sides and I just do little by little. I would rather take the time to flatten each little um, area as I go and then um, one other thing that I should do, I should have um, kind of flattened that out. It's fine, but sometimes I will notice if you can see the glue spots here. And so that's the reason why I like to spread it out. But once it dries, it's, it's going to be fine. And I may even cover this with paper. Okay, so we will just continue adding glue until we get to the end and then we'll go to the next side. And I'm going to show you here in just a sec something that I do like to do. You know what, I'm gonna, since I have a minute, it might be a little late, but that's okay. Just kind of go like that. And then we'll just go back over that area. And it doesn't really come through the fabric if you're wondering, it's not like 
too wet I can feel it but once it's dry it's all right and so something else I like to do is when I'm about halfway glued in here I like to just slowly kind of go like this just to make sure that everything's going to stay flat when we open the book um, I've used thicker fabrics before and sometimes that does pull a little bit tighter and what you will want to do for that is basically take some time to exercise your book and I really mean that like take your time to slowly so slow open the book and close the book and you just keep doing it until each time you're gonna have a little bit more flexibility and then you will just do that until you can close and open the book you know pretty comfortably um, and it is actually I would say it might be a good idea to let everything dry before you do that I personally just like to do it while it's wet so that if I need to make any changes I can do that and not yeah, I don't know, not risk like breaking some or yeah, I don't know. So there we go guys. Um, I'm going to continue doing this side and then I'll be right back. So now I have everything glued down and I can very easily open and close. Um, this is a pretty loose book. I guess some books are tighter than others. Um, but yes, we are good to go. Everything is super smooth. I really find that using a light fabric like this muslin is going to give you a good result. Um, and again, if you were covering the front of the book, you, I would personally follow the same exact steps. I usually use, um, let's see, like, I guess this is a little thicker. No, not really. Um, I've, I've never had any issues with the glue showing through. I feel like in the lighting right now, you can see this, but once it dries, I never have any issues with the glue showing through. And um, I am going to add some book cloth to the bind or spine of this book right here just because it's old and I want it to hold up for the recipient. That will be on a separate video since this one did get a little longer than I expected. Um, and then eventually I'll just have a whole playlist of separate video showing you how to do the different steps of making your own junk journals. Um, go ahead and experiment. Try different fabrics. Try different glues if you want. Like I said, for me, this is the only glue that I trust and I will use. Um, but if you guys do have any questions, leave them below and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. And make sure that it's completely dry before you go ahead and sew your signatures in just so nothing gets kind of stuck to the sides here. Okay guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye!